Hi, this is a quick video overview of Opia.org, an online community for developing interactive educational explorations. The two major sections of the site are Learn and Contribute. You can also access these sections using the buttons on the front page. Browse Exploration Gallery to learn or create an exploration to contribute. You can also check out the About and Contact sections to learn more about how Opia works and how to use it, access our forums, and file bugs. As you can see, I'm already logged into Opia. This means that I can see my profile page, and I can also create and edit explorations right away. We're going to start by going through a very short sample exploration I made just for this tutorial, and then we'll go into the editor and make the exploration a little bit better. Normally, to play existing explorations, I would use the Learn section. This is a gallery of all the published explorations on opia.org, separated by topic. Since my new exploration is not published yet, I'll only find it in the Contribute section for now. This is a very similar gallery, but it only contains explorations that I can edit, and has edit links for each one. There are a number of community-owned explorations that anyone can edit, and this is also where I'll find my unpublished explorations. I can click on the Play button to start playing my exploration. The first thing the exploration does is ask me for my name. Suppose that instead of just typing in Yana, I decided to use complete sentences and say, my name is Yana. The exploration responds, hi, my name is Yana. Well, that's not exactly what I meant. Maybe we can fix this later. Now the exploration is asking me an arithmetic question, and you can see that the input field is slightly different now. There are several different input types available in Opio. You can also use custom widgets like maps that have been developed by the community, or even develop your own if you're a programmer. So what's 2 plus 2? Hmm, is it 3? No, 3 is too small. Maybe it's 5? Oh, that's too big. I guess it's four. One of the core ideas in OPEA is defining a set of rules to classify student answers and reacting differently depending on what rule applies. We saw a simple version of that when I entered a number that was too big or too small. We can also use the same principle to fix that name problem we encountered earlier. Let's take a look at how the exploration works on the inside. We can go through the contribute gallery like we did before, or I can also find my explorations on my profile page. Explorations are made up of states and transitions between the states. In the Exploration Details tab, we can see that this exploration has two states, Introduction and Add Numbers, as well as the special End state that simply defines when an exploration counts as completed by the reader. Transitions between the states are defined by rules. Let's add a new rule to our Introduction state to catch when readers answer our question in a complete sentence rather than just giving their name. This is the State Editor view for the Introduction state. Here we can see and change what the exploration will say, what the input type will be, and what rules the student input will be classified with. Right now there's only the one default rule. No matter what the student says, we'll respond with hi and paired back his most recent input. Then we'll move on to the addition state. It's worth mentioning that you can use answer and double braces like this in almost any text field to output the student's most recent answer. Answer is a special parameter. One of the advanced features of Opia is defining and using your own parameters to customize your explorations. You can find some documentation on parameters through the More Info link under Parameter Changes. To make our exploration react to unexpected input, we'll add another rule that double checks whether the reader really meant that that was their name. There are several ways to classify text input in Opia. For our new rule, we'll check whether the answer contains the word name. That should catch most complete sentence answers of the form my name is blank. To deal with this case, we'll add another state to our exploration. We'll call it name check because it double checks whether the name is correct. As feedback when this rule is hit, we'll ask your name is this to make it clear to the reader how the exploration is interpreting their answer. Now we can go to the name check state and describe how the exploration should deal with this ambiguous case. We already asked the reader a clarifying question in the feedback, so in this state we just need to provide them with two options for the answer. This time we'll use a multiple choice answer. We can customize the multiple choice widget to specify what the allowed choices are. The choices for our case should be yes, that's really my name, or no, I misunderstood and that's not actually my name. Now that we define the choices, we can make rules for what to do for each one. If it turns out the name was correct, we'll send the reader to the addition state to complete the exploration. If it was not correct, 
we'll send them back to the introduction to give them another chance to re-enter their name. Now we can save our exploration and try it out. When you save changes to an exploration, you have a chance to record a commit message that describes what changes you made. This is optional, but it can be very helpful for remembering how the exploration was changed, especially in cases where several people are working on the same one. If we go back to the Exploration Details page, we'll see that the new state has been automatically added to the Exploration graph. Let's try playing the edited exploration now. Once again, I'll type in my name is Yana into the name input field. This time, the exploration asks me, your name is my name is Yana? No, that's not right. Let's try again. This time, I'll just type in Yana. And now I can move on and solve the math problem. And these are the basics of Opia. I hope you enjoyed this overview, and I hope you try out playing and making explorations, read up a bit more on Opia, and please post in the forums if you have any questions.